The arrest report and the body cam video reveal this started as a disorder between a student and the PE coach. When the SRO stepped in, the situation escalated. And when I spoke with the former teacher and officer, they both agreed that the situation should have been handled differently. See, he's 18 years old, and he's talking to the officer like that. You know, that's wrong. You know, you both respect the officer, and the officer both respect him. It's a two-way street. This is simply said. Napoleon Williams is a retired police officer. Williams says when he watched the body camera footage, the situation should have been handled differently. Williams says the PE teacher and SRO should have let the boy sit and cool off. And former teacher Kendra Young says in her years of teaching, she knows when an SRO should be involved in a situation. And she says this was not one of those. The officer should not have been involved in the situation at all. Young says SROs should only be called for emergency situations such as a threat to the school or if a student imposes a threat to themselves or others. Young can, says in terminated. this incident a teacher should off. have handled it because it was take a disciplinary off. issue rather take than an off. emergency. The adults in the room are what escalated the situation and um, it looked to me like they triggered you know the students fight flight or freeze response. In the last hour, Hamilton County Schools told us they are taking steps based on what they know about the video and Sledge's arrest. A spokesman says they are reviewing policies, procedures, and training for administrators and security officers. He adds they are working with the law enforcement to ensure students are treated with dignity and respect. And finally, the district is providing guidance to schools and law enforcement to promote student-centered relationships. I told you to take the bag off. What you just saw there was a brief clip of newly released body cam footage of an altercation between an Eastridge High School student and a student resource officer. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman Whitfield. And I'm Josh Rowe. After a video circulated on social media of the altercation, News Channel 9's Leslie Dominique breaks down what the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office has released. Leslie. Josh, Kim, that 15 second video has led to polarizing discussion about the role of SROs in schools. Now that we have more than one hour of SRO body cam footage, we were able to get more context leading up to that incident. Witness video of an altercation between a Hamilton County SRO and 18-year-old Eastridge student Taurus Sledge has reached thousands. Newly released body cam footage from SRO Tyler McRae details more than one hour of the incident. Here you can see the SRO walking in with a school official and speaking with a gym coach. The coach says he is upset because Sledge wouldn't play kickball, but proceeded to play basketball. The coach says he confronted Sledge, tried to force the basketball out of the student's hands, and that's when Sledge, quote, bucked up. He won't talk to him, and he says, you're a racist. We see Sledge speaking with the SRO and school official. Finally, when I come, come down from off the bleachers, he want to come at me aggressively. What happened to you? You're supposed to be in the bleachers. Like, that's not how you talk to me. Things first escalate between Sledge and McCray when the SRO puts his hand on Sledge's shoulder. You got five seconds to get your what hands. What the f you going to do? The SRO then follows Sledge up to the bleachers and orders him to leave the gym. Sledge refuses to listen to the SRO's instruction and remains on the bleachers. Stand up and come with me. Stand up and come with me. Sledge rejects McCray's commands and the SRO makes contact with the student. We finna go to gym. Don't resist me, dude. At this point, the SRO's camera falls to the ground, and we see glimpses of McCray dragging Sledge by the hair, similar to what we saw in the original video. The SRO grabs Sledge by the backpack strap, ordering him to take the bag off so he can place him in handcuffs. Sledge refuses and then calls his father. What's up, you good? No, I'm not good. I literally just got thrown around by the police. McCray continues to order Sledge to take the bag off, and Sledge continues to refuse. Take the bag off. Sledge is unresponsive once he is sprayed. The SRO continues to ask him to take the bag off. If you take the bag off, we'll get you decontaminated. That's all it is. I can't breathe. Moments later, Sledge's father shows up to the school to find out exactly what happened. We then see another officer take Sledge and his father into a bathroom and help Sledge to wash out his eyes from the pepper spray. 
Things calm down significantly and... Sledge is put in handcuffs and put in a police car. 